Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in today's video, we're going to be recreating this effect inspired by the weekend Until I Bleed Out music video, where it's kind of spinning around and very blurry and colorful lights going on. Now, ideally, you'd want probably just to have a camera spinning around so that your original footage is spinning. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take static footage, like most of your clips might be, not spinning around, and turn it into a blurry spinning image with the same sort of idea as the weekend music video. If you like effects like these and would just prefer a drag and drop version, I do sell effects and transitions in preset packs on my website. You can check those out. It's got dozens of effects like these and others. And I've always got new ones in store if you follow along and subscribe to the channel. So getting into this effect, it's pretty simple. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is add an offset effect. This is in the distort video effects folder. And if I click and drag this onto the clip in my effects controls panel, it allows me to shift the original center. So I can shift the X or Y position. But in this case, all I'm gonna do is shift the X position. So we wanna add keyframes so that we can repeatedly shift over as if we're spinning. You can go from left to right if you wanna spin this way or the other way, it doesn't matter which way you wanna spin. So let's just start with the original image in frame. At the very first frame, I'll click the stopwatch icon to toggle animation. That'll add a keyframe. And I can move forward, hover along or to the end of my clip. And I can increase that X position, basically however many rotations or spins I want it. So if I don't do too many spins, it'll be kind of slow. If I do a lot, it'll be faster. And maybe if you wanna keep in mind lining up the last frame, to be back to center. Uh, I think the maximum you can do is something like 32,000. So keep in mind, if you're working with a much longer clip, you might wanna add multiple keyframes back and forth or cut your clips in smaller pieces. But in this case, this is how fast this would look like. Now we do have one big problem is we can basically see the edge. It doesn't look seamless. And our saving effect here, since this is gonna be a very blurry effect, is that we're gonna basically blur this edge. So the next thing we're gonna do is add a directional blur. That'll be in the blur and sharpen folder, and I can click and drag this onto my video clip. And this allows me to blur in any direction I want. So this is vertically, but since we're spinning horizontally, I can just keep it at 90 degrees, or if you wanna add some flavor, maybe just a couple degrees differently but I'll just keep it at 90 degrees and basically, and this clip is really dark, so it works well as well, but our, our seam has disappeared. Uh, you can see how much you can get away with on a dark clip. I can get away with as little as 30 blur length or strength and the seam will disappear. On a clip that's a little lighter, you might need to use more strength until the seam goes away. So just, it depends on your clip. Just kind of look at it and see what's happening. Now, once we go back to our original image, we now have our spinning image with the blur. And it, actually I'm gonna increase the blur just cause I think it looks better. You can also add keyframes so that the blur like increases over time. If I wanted that to even grow, or you can also make it feel like the blur increases over time and the spin goes faster over time. Also, instead of directional blur, you could get away with using a Gaussian blur as well. Um, Gaussian blur will just blur in both directions, but you can also set it to only blur horizontally or vertically. So Gaussian blur, directional blur, both will work really. But the next thing I'm gonna do to replicate kind of the music video look is add a lens distortion. This is in the distort video effects folder it'll be lens distortion and when i click this i can add some lens distortion and curvature to the edges so we really feel like we're spinning around in a circle it's gonna kind of add this widescreen look so when i play that back now now it really feels like we're spinning with that lens distort and from here you can adjust you know whatever your blur lengths were or your shift center amounts were if you want to make it faster, slower, or stronger blur. There's a ton of other things you can do from this point on if you wanted to blend multiple clips together. Added a large Gaussian blur onto it and then just set those to like color dodge or screen. 
this is how you can start to get much brighter colors if you just add those blending modes. But we've basically created this cool spinning world effect that you think you might need After Effects or something for this, but it works pretty well with these three effects in Premiere Pro. So my name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you want to check out more effects like these, go to justinodisho.com shop. You can buy my bundle packs with dozens of effects and transitions drag and drop set for you. And I'll be adding new ones like this in future packs as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.